This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Witset. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Mason High School students will ask their school board to formally oppose Ohio House Bill 616. It bans schools from teaching gender identity or sexual orientation through third grade. They started a petition online. They have received hundreds of signatures so far. Cincinnati Public Schools Board voted to oppose Ohio House Bill 616 last night in a unanimous vote as well. And Cincinnati is putting the brakes on e-scooters a bit. Police say there have been a lot of problems associated with the scooters, including underage riding, riding them on the sidewalks, and even using them for criminal activities. The scooters will now be turned off from 6 at night until 6 in the morning. The hours are programmed into the scooters so they will not operate at all. City and county leaders will consider a pair of proposed Bengals project. The team will present a report about upgrades needed to Paul Brown Stadium today. That's to the Hamilton County Commission. Meanwhile, Cincinnati City leaders will discuss an indoor practice facility, the inflatable dome that will be located next to the Brent Spence Bridge on Maring Way. The former Beverly Hills Supper Club site will house a new development. Fisher Homes plans to build 60 luxury homes at the Memorial Point Residential Community in Southgate. The developer has committed to supporting the public memorial to the 165 victims of the 1977 Beverly Hills Supper Club fire. That public memorial is still planned for land right there on US 27. Jen. Well, today's forecast starts partly cloudy and definitely cooler outside. I mean, if you've been out there yet, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe we took the pup out this morning. Mid 40s to start 50 by the noon hour, turning partly cloudy and then mostly sunny for this afternoon. Our high comes in around 56. The problem is with late day clearing and staying clear tonight, it's going to be colder out there, cold enough to prompt our latest frost advisory. This includes all locations that will be in effect from 2 to 9 a.m. Wednesday.